Cousin Internet. It's me, Cousin Todd, with Mama's Comedy Show. And with me is Cousin Taylor. Hey, everybody. And Cousin Andrew. You're supposed to do Andrew's voice. Oh, hello. This is... <laughs> Andrew, are you okay? Do anything, I didn't want to do anything questionable. You didn't want to be racist? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Not for my first 30 seconds of the show, <laughs> for sure. Uh, well, you know, one of our... I, I think I've mentioned this on one of our other podcasts. It might have been uh, last week. Um, where we had cousin Regina, who was our like super cute Asian girl yes. and her very first show, we were like, yeah, just tell a joke. And then she, her very first joke was how, why, what's the difference between a black man? And I was like, yes, oh, no, no, yes. no, 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 no. And the man in the hall that <laughs> yeah. was like, what the hell is going on in here? Yeah. So, yes. so yeah, you, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> It's all right. I'll um, save it. So is this tonight, is this your second or third? Is this my third your mama third show? third mama show. Third time's a charm, they say. Hopefully. Fingers Let, crossed. Let's hope. Um, how have you been feeling so far? Oh, mamas in general? Yeah. Um, good, good. Pete, I mean, like, how are you, how do you feel about yourself? Because it's always, yeah. it's hard when you get, you know, thrown in. Yeah. I think it's uh, very much so not my vibe. Um, like when people look at me, they yeah. would not expect mamas to come out actually. Cousin right. Billy, after his show, everybody yeah. who knew him that was at that show and also knew me was like, Are you okay? What do you do that? And yeah, um, but I like it, it's a challenge, it's For, fun. F- like, are you, are you meaning like the pool noodles or that was also, I immediately was like, Oh, in what capacity do I need to be okay? And that was the first yeah. thing out of their mouth was the pool noodles. And I said, We're good with yeah. the, we're good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it was, I think it was your your hair that was when we were hitting you <laughs> your hair just woofing in front of your face was really what sold it the yeah, most. yeah 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 um, it added to the effect the sound was already a problem but yeah. then the hair was just yeah because then everyone's worse. like yeah 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 we're trying to murder you yeah um <laughs> but yeah it's tough i'm tough i can handle it yeah you're wearing flannel i now i'm fitting right in um, exactly and so you're you're married right not yet. When when Not is yet. when is the big day? March second, twenty twenty four. Oh, you guys are putting that off, huh? I know. I get why people get married fast. I'm like, let's go. No, chop chop. It's here's the like you put it off. You put it off because you always think like, okay, I've still got time to get out of this, and then <laughs> um, that and then it just totally my reason. It but creeps up on you, yeah. and then before you know it, bam, you're stuck. You're stuck forever. It's all right. I mean, not forever. There are worse things you could be stuck in. Yeah, they. I mean, he could die, he and then it's, <laughs> and then you're and then you're free. It's like a genie. What happens if a genie? <laughs> what happens if you, uh, you wish for your first wish and then you die? Is that genie just screwed forever? Ooh maybe or like is it like a pay it forward kind of thing what if a wish for a genie is like ejaculation oh and you need he needs that third wish to be oh, like oh, i'm man, done this is a good conspiracy theory i like <laughs> it and then if you die after your first wish he's like oh no <gasps> shoot i'm stuck in this state forever because does anyone else get a wish at that point oh, i don't know because he can't go These back and questions. i never got to wish you free genie <laughs> Um, <laughs> These are all great questions. So speaking of great questions. Yes. Uh, so I did mention this to you right before we started recording. Yes. So we did two episodes of Would You Rather. Mm-hmm. And originally it was going to be you and Andrew. And I don't know if Andrew's been on a podcast before. Oh, ever. With us. No, I don't think he ever has. Incredible. Um, I was going to throw you guys uh, a Would You Rather, but I it's such a... We learned so much about each other. <laughs> We're going to get really close here. Um, so I was like, ah, may, maybe not. But, but I figured I would throw you yeah, a couple. we could start. We'll throw you a couple. Light, and if easy. Andrew shows up, then, yeah. then we'll, we'll make him catch up. Okay, great. Um, I'm but ready. The, the first, would you rather? The look on your face is already Oh, my gosh. Me. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So this is a great one. Um, and you may have heard this one. But there is a Freaky Friday moment uh-huh. where your fiance and your dad are peeing in a water fountain at the same time. Lightning strikes. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. switch bodies. Mm-hmm. So your dad is mm. in your fiance's body mm-hmm. and your fiance is in your dad's body. Oh, man. And the only way to get them back into their own bodies is to have sex with one of them. Okay. So the question is, would you rather Mm -hmm. have sex with Mm -hmm. your fiance in your father's body or 
have sex with your father in your fiance's body. And this is level one? Yeah. Of would you yeah. rather? Yeah. Um, it's a good warm up. This is a warm up. This is a warm up. I would have to go with um, fiance in father's body. Because you've always been attracted to your dad? No, because I wouldn't have to unpack it beyond. You know what I mean? That's a lot to unpack. Um. No, not if we like had a conversation about it. Right. Like me and the fiance. Like my dad, does my is my dad gonna know? Do they know that this is happening? Yeah, of course. They were oh, peeing well in the that, fountain at the same time. Damn it. Well, that changes everything. Well, especially Well, it doesn't change my answer, I don't think. But here, but, but here's the interesting caveat. <laughs> like you've answered. Yeah. So <laughs> we're in it. So yeah, well, someone's in Well, yeah. okay. <laughs> um so uh, we haven't defined the moment that they switch back. So okay. So so here's my if <laughs> if the breaking of the spell mm -hmm. is having sex, does mm -hmm. that mean the minute of completion, mm. your dad is just like get off me? <laughs> Suddenly Shoot. he's back. Man, these this. But either way, I either so they're both involved. Either way, there is right. no way. Yeah. Okay, so this isn't a would you rather. <laughs> so let's just talk about this weird moment of your life. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Right, so, so you're having sex with your dad. Um, okay. <laughs> with my fiance. Oh, yeah, yeah, Sorry, sure. Fiance. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yes. We'll go with a really easy, a really oh. easy second one. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, this is a really easy mm -hmm, second one. Mm -hmm. Would you rather poop every time you sit down or pee every time you stand up? Poop every time I sit down, for sure. No questions. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, getting into your car is going to be a problem. Um. Yeah. I guess the question is like, is it just staying? Yeah, it's just staying in the pants the whole time, right? Yeah. Um. Mm, no, I'm still gonna go for that one. You yeah. know, like good poops are, they feel good. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like I could go for that. I You'll guess be you could so thin. Yeah. <laughs> just constantly pooping. Yeah, you're running out. Yeah, exactly. I'm just trying to be skinny. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I thought about that too. And I think, I think that's the most convenient. Yeah. Because like, for sure. you know, if I'm going to a party, <laughs> uh, like before I leave my house, I know, okay, well, when I stand up, I'm going to pee. Ah, uh, and then you could change. Yeah, I'll and no change. no one's going to know. Right. And then when I get to a party mm. and someone's like, hey, Todd, sit down. I'll be like, no, no, I'm cool. Mm. Um <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Because then I have to stand up again, and then I'm going to be the guy that pissed himself at the party. Fair, fair. I feel like if you sat down with poop in your pants, though, you could hide it. You just might stink. Just have Axe yeah. Bounty spray with you at all times. Oof, that's worse, though. Then it smells like you... <laughs> like a pubescent you, boy? Yeah. Like, a, like a pubescent boy shit himself. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Um, Yikes. So, okay, so uh, you would rather poop. I'm, I think that's good. I think, I think that's, that's where I'm going. Because I think you, yeah, you could, you know, you could wear a diaper. You could. That's and easy. you just bring a change, change a little pull yeah. up. A little pull up and then, you know, when you, when you poop, you go, hey, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. And then you like swap them out. You're good to go until the next time you sit down. Yeah. I'd also never be constipated. That is true. That's a great. Are you, do you get constipated thing. regularly? <laughs> um, no. No, I was just talking about this the other day. I I, I have a nice, healthy uh, flow. I'm like three or four times a day. Me too. Yeah, uh, I'm good. so glad we're talking about this. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's Me too. Like I, I I go first thing in the morning, and then usually like an hour later, I'll have like a like Me a second poop. Yeah, like the, the post coffee poop. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. And then I'll have like a midday yeah. poop. You know, yeah. somewhere in the in the middle of the day, and then right before I go to bed. I think I poop after every single meal, which I heard on a podcast is very healthy. So you can say it on this one, and now whoever's listening will go, "Hey, that's pretty they're going to cite me." <laughs> yeah, um, you are inciting people to that's, poop. Yes, yes, I was. Uh, okay, here's a, a, a now a little challenging one. Okay, great. And this was the first one. This was the one out of the gate. Yes. On our very first Would You Rather okay. podcast. And there were like eight of us on that. Ready to answer. I know. I wish Andrew was here to like contribute. Oh, we'll, get, we'll just remember just, these questions. And yeah. when he comes up. We'll, but I wish we could hear his answer first. So I'd be like, oh, okay. He already said the weird thing. <laughs> so I can say the uh, weird no, thing. No, no it's there, just me. There's no good answer yeah, to any of these. Right. All right. I so, accept it. Uh, would you rather 
give your mom an orgasm or give your dad an orgasm. That's it. We don't have, there's no, no, no third, caveats. No They're just, option. we're. A lot of these are really weird. O oddly enough, a lot of these <laughs> oh. have to do with your parents. So. Okay. Maybe we should unpack that. We should just derail this episode. I just looked these up. God, this is interesting. <laughs> um, do we know the method at which this is happening? However you, however you get the job done. Can I pay someone to do it? No. Can I gift it in a box? No. Can I? You have to physically make contact. <laughs> and we, we actually had a very, a very long oh. debate about this because mm -hmm. uh, someone was like, you know, I'll just like close my eyes. And I was like, no, no, no. It has to be eye contact. Like it has to. So you, you're just asking us to all admit <laughs> to weird things. We can't yeah. even come with. Come? Oh, man. What? Pervert? I yeah. I so, so is it your mom or your dad? Oh, Which man. Which is the least awkward? Well, I've already said. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> is there? Is there a? Uh, I just meant earlier in this podcast. I already confessed to one, okay. so why not just add the other right. one to the list so I don't have to talk about it with yeah. either of them? Like no one's gonna ask why you didn't pick me, you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So your mom. <laughs> yeah, I your guess in this yeah, that was moment. My favorite answer from last time was Megan was so thoughtful, and she was like, "My mom, she could use it." Oh, yeah. that's so kind of her. It was nice. I said I wouldn't do either. That's disgusting. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> you make the rules. <laughs> Uh, all right. Oh, hold on. I, I actually, let me, let me pull some of these up. Great. Um, okay. You could either live for another 60 years, but not be able to leave your house ever again, mm -hmm. or live five more years and be free to go wherever you want. I'm going to go, um, the, the pandemic one, the COVID the, one. 60 years. I could do that again. Yeah, okay. for sure. That one's easy. Um, Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think I don't want to die and, you know, I figure, okay, well, if I'm guaranteed 60 years ah. inside my house, yeah. um, there's a chance that science could do some amazing things in 60 years. This is true. This is true. I like, um, I just didn't want to talk to people, but I like your thumb presses. Uh, and on that same, this same, uh, vein, uh, would you rather travel for the rest of your life? You can only stay in one place for three months or never leave your home state again. Uh, travel. I can't get out of Florida. I feel Florida. like that's a no-brainer. Yeah. <clears throat> With the state that we're in right now? Oh, shit. The yeah. state of the state? I'm yeah. out. Gotta Florida, go. And we, we talked about this on a podcast, too, of um, a lot of LGBTQ people are fleeing the state. Yes. And, I mean, I... And on one hand, I really understand it. And like, I'm right there with you. I want to get out. But on the other hand, I'm like, well, you, but, but then there's no one to fight. There's no, but I mean, there's no one to fight to, for yes. your right. Yes. Like there's <clears throat> no, we're just giving it away. Yes. And that, that's the part that I have trouble with. But yes. Anywho. <laughs> um, uh, all right. So you can either choose to see how you die or how a loved one dies, but. You can't tell them how. So you could either see how you die uh -huh. or you could see how your fiance dies. Uh -huh. but I just can't tell him. You just can't tell him how. So if, if you see that he dies in a car crash, you can't go like, hey, don't. Don't get in a car. Don't get in the car today. That's dumb. Um, can I? Uh, I just can't tell them, but I could like influence them. No. No. It's going to happen. It's, you just You just have to let it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess I'd want to see somebody else. I want to live on. I don't want to live in fear. I want to live on the edge. You don't want to know how you die? No. So you want to see how someone else dies? Yeah, I, but that might hurt my heart. But it hurt my heart to watch yeah. myself die, too. Yeah, but you know what? Like, I, I feel like, for me, I would rather watch myself die. Because then okay. then I, th I feel like there's that moment of clarity. What would suck is if they're like, hey, you say, okay, I want to see how I die. And uh -huh. then you see it, and it's like the same clothes that you're wearing now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that terrifying. Would, that would be awful. Yeah, but it but it would also be nice, like to go. Okay, I'm gonna see how I'm gonna die, and then I see like flying cars, and I'm like, oh, okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> I've got we're some good. Time. Yeah, we're in the clear. Yeah, no, I don't want to know. I don't want to influence anything. <laughs> this um, this one, would, this one is more for Andrew, but remind me to ask this. Of course. Uh, <laughs> Would you still jack off if when you came, your semen was just one gigantic sperm and afterwards you have to fight it? <laughs> it's not a would you rather. This is just yeah. a personality question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point. I, I, I kind of hope he gets her soon. because I, yeah. <laughs> um, I won't forget it. 
We'll keep it in mind. All right. Uh, when you die, mm-hmm. you cease to exist or you wander the earth forever, never being able to interact with anything. Ooh. So would you rather just mm-hmm. cease yeah. to exist yeah, yeah, yeah. or wander around, never interact with anything? Oh, man. Probably just cease to exist. <laughs> you can forget about me. Most people do anyway, so I, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, every time I look away from you, I forget you're that you're like, here. I'm on a podcast right I now. I look up and go, girl. oh, Jesus, oh, God. <laughs> man. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's, uh, you, the, I forgot who the comedian was that said it. And someone asked him, you know, how do you reconcile with the belief that. Just in time. Oh, it's not Andrew. Oh, uh, how do you, how do you reconcile <laughs> with the belief that, um, you know, there is no afterlife? And he said, um, well, you remember that time before you were born and the guy said no and he went yeah it's pretty much like that yes um so Iconic. i mean part of part of me thinks like yeah i guess i guess ceasing to exist would be i wouldn't know we wouldn't know we wouldn't know yeah i wouldn't care but wandering the earth you'd fucking know yeah and i mean go insane okay and can you masturbate as a ghost Is i was that w- more just wondering like could i cause destruction but i'm glad we're well, no, because we're I, at the right headspace. Yeah, no, I was going, I was going the more perverted route of going. Well, if I'm just wong- wandering around, I'm just watching naked people, and then I guess you, you can, don't have to watch naked people, Todd. This is just a personal preference. You, you just have, confess. you have an infinite amount of time. You do, and so I'm watching everything. You're watching everything. Why and watch it on the internet? When I'm, could I'm go ghost to jerking the... off. I'm making ectoplasm. This that's is the, impressive. <laughs> that's, that people are gonna be like, oh, what is all this ectoplasm doing in our house? <laughs> Wait, so you're a ghost, but the things you're producing are real? That's what ectoplasm is. I'm not that smart. I went to Florida schools. Ectoplasm is ghost chisms. Oh, why <laughs> would they teach that in Florida schools? Why would well, I know this? Because you're not allowed to. Correct. It's, oh. it's considered grooming. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. You know what would really <laughs> suck is so imagine, okay, I choose to wander the earth. Mm-hmm. So there mm-hmm. you are wandering the earth a million years. Mm-hmm. You're there when this giant asteroid is coming towards Earth, a, a planet destroyer, and and then poof, the Earth is gone, and you're still there, just drifting in space. <laughs> just chilling. No more. All, all you have left to see is like maybe the other people that chose the same option yes. all drifting together. Can we see each other? Yeah. Well, that doesn't change my answer. You can still forget about me, but I like it. It adds an element to it. Do you want to dream if you're dead? Do you want to? Do you want to? Like, I mean, think about it. Like, if you're yeah. a ghost, mm-hmm. do you want to have nighttime and go to sleep? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. Sleep's my favorite time of the day. Yeah, it's. I mean, <laughs> it is kind of like. It's. I think I like it more that it's a routine than anything. The, yeah. <laughs> I need my ghost routine. Yeah. I need to wake up and do my skincare before I get up and yeah. start jerking off in yeah. people's homes. <laughs> exactly. Hi. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you were forced into a gladiator combat. Uh-huh. But you could only choose a weapon that isn't typically considered a weapon. Which non-conventional weapon would you choose? Ooh, this is a good one. Um, a toilet comes to mind. You would use a toilet? Yeah. That's a heavy Correct. thing to just try to swing around. Correct. But it would really knock you out. Th- that is true. That's one of those. So, so all right, zombie apocalypse. Let's go. Yeah. You, zombie apocalypse. Yeah, we're here. What's your weapon of choice? You don't want a gun. You don't want a gun. Why can't, don't you want a gun? I don't. You can't find bullets. What? You can't. I mean, bullets aren't. It's not a video game. You don't kill a zombie and then suddenly you find ammunition in their pocket. You know. Correct. So it's and the, it's yes. not like the factory that makes the bullets are continuing to make them. Right. They're all dead. Yeah. Understood. So what weapon do I want? Wouldn't that? Wouldn't this logic apply to all things though? And we're saying, well, well, yes, but also, for example, a crowbar is. Oh. Is something here, that yeah. is strong. Yeah, you can use it to pry open doors. You can, yeah. you know, use it to bludgeon. <laughs> yes, and we're assuming slow zombies here. Yes, yes. Weapon of choice. I don't know. All that comes to mind is a noodle, not a pool noodle, just a pasta noodle. Don't ask me why. Well, I don't know. You're dead. That's fine. <laughs> you're you're getting. I feel like the underlying <laughs> theme is I've been like, I'll just accept death if it's yeah. <laughs> if my choices include death. Once you've death, had I'll sex with your dad it. and made your mom Correct. come, you all that's left is to die. Exactly. Um. Uh. <laughs> uh this is not a. This is not a would you rather. This is just a personality yeah. question. If you had to be haunted by a ghost for the rest of your life, but mm-hmm. could choose which dead person the ghost would be, mm-hmm. who would you choose to be your ghost? 
Again, I just have to go with my instinct here, and Abe Lincoln is really just what's coming to mind. Abe Lincoln? Mm-hmm. You like the tall guys? Mm, yeah, I guess. Your fiancé is tall, right? He is. I know. Yeah. That's what made me think about that. Yeah. Do you ever think about shooting him in the back of the head? <laughs> is that what this is all about? That's the underlying message. <laughs> that's Death why you're always under- <laughs> asking him to come to the theater. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, no. He's going to listen to this and be like, what am I marrying? Yeah. He's what like, is oh, happening? Well, to be fair, you did say you wanted to have... I did not. I don't know what you're about to say, but I didn't say whatever's about to come out of your mouth. Um, <laughs> uh, would you go back in time and kill Hitler? Sure. But so so here's here's my question with that. So you go back in time and kill Hitler. You have no idea what hell you're creating. It's all right. I mean, it's it's dangerous. Well, it, but it could be worse than Hitler. Yeah. It could be someone that was more competent. Oh, uh, uh, Beth. But so Beth is our, our Jewish audience okay. member. Understood. She, she said she vibe. would go back and kill Hitler. Oh, but you were baptized Christian? Well, that was just to protect you from vampires. <laughs> um, exactly. Uh, <laughs> oh. Right. Yeah, another one. Another, another personality question. Please. Uh, if you were actually a robot, oh, mm-hmm. but you didn't know, or we're in a simulation, mm-hmm. Do you want to know, or would you rather continue to believe that everything is real, including yourself? Oh, I want to be in the simulation. Don't tell me. Let me live in ignorant bliss. Yeah. For sure. I'll just vibe. I want to know. Why? Because I, I want to know. Like, mm-hmm. it's like, so it, uh, right, you're getting, you're going to be married. I am. Yes. So if someone came up to you and said, I can tell you right now if your marriage will last or if it'll fall apart, mm-hmm. would you want to know? No. Oh Back to ignorance is bliss. Why do no. you want all this knowledge? Oh my gosh! Idiots are the because best. I, I because I wanted. What was that last question I asked you? Because I, I had something I wanted to tag off of that. <laughs> uh, oh, go back in time and kill Hitler. Was that it? And that was a question posed this evening. Yes. And then, and you said mm. um, I said sure. Why not? I don't remember what I, you you like caused me to think about something. I said. I mean, one, sh- you're creating a paradox because if you go back in time and kill Hitler, then. Why would you go back in time to kill Hitler if Hitler never existed? I love these like these questions. I read an awful book recently where this girl goes forward in time and then we go back in time and she panics about what she saw when she went forward. And I'm right. like, girl, why do you give a fuck? It's going to happen anyways. Yeah. Awful book. Don't read it. Um, you're in a burning building. Mm-hmm. You have <laughs> two choices. Yes. You can either save. Do you have any s- siblings? I do. A brother or sister? A brother. Okay. You can either save your brother okay. or four strangers. Wow. Well, I have to say my brother because this is a published piece of content, and I love <laughs> my brother incredibly. Plus, plus, we haven't had a question where you've had, had sex I, with per- him yet. So correct. Saving yeah. his life no, I, is... No harm, no foul. Or I could leave him in the building and not if, ever have you come up with that question. Okay. Uh, I feel like I know... Ooh. Oh, shoot. No, this this one's better. <laughs> If you could steal 20 years of extra life Mm -hmm. by letting a stranger die, would you do it? Letting them die? Like they want to do this? Like they're in the burning building. You probably could save them. But if you don't, you get a bonus 20 years on top of what you already were going to live. Oh, no, because I don't want to get canceled in culture. So (laughs) Nobody knows. You're in a burning building. They might know. There's Hmm. probably a ring camera that's going to catch it all, (laughs) and I'm going to get canceled on Good Morning America. So I will take my life the way it was. They're like, why did you just watch this (laughs) guy burn? (laughs) Yeah, and like, don't matter. Don't worry about it. You could have saved him. (laughs) We felt like you were getting stronger as you were dying. (laughs) Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I do kind of tend to think um, I I I wouldn't be able to watch someone suffer or burn like that's that. Like, I would have to. <laughs> that's true. I guess that's the nicer answer than I don't want to get canceled. I mean, I, I think because there's no real mm. immediate self-preservation. Mm-hmm. You know, if yeah. it's... Yeah, I'm not going to read the benefits right, right away. If it's you save this person and you die or mm. you save yourself, yeah. that you, you know, save yourself because... Because you have I, I to just, put the oxygen mask on first right, before you can exactly. help other people. That's what, like the one thing we're taught in life. <laughs> um, if you could ask your future self from the year 2050 uh-huh. one question, so yeah. you get to go forward in time, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. see yourself. It's like that TikTok filter that everyone's using right now, the aged filter. Oh, I looked so bad. Yeah, I looked pretty good. 
But maybe I'm, maybe because you're closer to it. I'm a oh Jesus. Not Christ. to call you out. <laughs> no, but it uh, it, but it's adding years to me. It's not just making everyone the same age. Correct. It's just bumping us up. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm bumping up. So I'm bumping up higher than you. Yes. And, I'm, I'm fucking, and you're still looking good. I'm Harrison Shout Ford. Shout out. That's <laughs> I'm proud of you. I look awful. I feel yeah. like, well, yeah. I did it. I sh- did it on my like a dick pic, oh. and it looked great. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, less wrinkles actually. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> my balls were gorgeous. <laughs> um, so, all right, you're traveling to 2050. Yeah, and I have a question that I can ask, and so I'm gonna ask: Is my kid a dick? Are you pregnant? Um, no, but I'm just so worried I'm gonna raise a dick. Right. And so I just want to know. I I feel like, I feel like if that's your concern, you're not gonna raise a dick. Maybe, or I'm gonna suffocate them <laughs> with my <laughs> parenting, and they're gonna. I thought you were rebel. gonna say a pillow. Period. I'm gonna <laughs> suffocate them, and that's the end. No, um, yeah, that's what I would want to know at this moment in time. Or I like did my wedding stay under budget? That would <laughs> that would oh, help solve a lot of stress right tough. now. Yeah, that is tough. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. I would be. I would. I would probably be more selfish. I would be like, hey, what's a good stock tip? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, or what's a lottery number? Once, yeah. Who had the best, who had the next Facebook idea? Right. It would probably be a good question. Yeah. Is threads worth it? Um, good questions. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <gasps> hey, it's He's Andrew. <laughs> it's cousin Andrew, everyone. All right. So now you get the benefit of. To have someone else say weird answers yes. first. Yes. All right. So, Andrew. Hi. Um, let me turn your mic up. Uh, hey, hello. Hi. So, Andrew, your girlfriend. Okay. Fun. I have a girlfriend. Yep. All right. Well, we're imagining your girlfriend <laughs> okay. All right. uh, and your mom are both peeing in the same water fountain. Okay. Uh, as the clock strikes midnight, lightning strikes the fountain, and they do a Freaky Friday, they switch bodies. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The only way to undo it is, this a sex is to have sex yeah. with one of them. So do you want to have sex with your girlfriend in your mom's body uh-huh. or your mom in your girlfriend's body? Well, if you do both at the same time, <laughs> oh. what, what person will stop you? And Get a little like, closer to that. Like who, who's, what, what would someone say to you if you say, hey, I did both just in case, <laughs> just to be sure? Because I'm a family guy. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a family guy. I'm a family person. I care about those. Here was, so you said you'd have sex with your dad. I did not say that. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> Your boyfriend and your dad's body. Yes. Wow. But yes. but my like question on top of that is, <laughs> yeah. but if the switchback is you having sex, as soon as you finish, your dad's gonna be laying there going, Get off of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honey, why? <laughs> um okay, here was one that, that I could only a- ask for you. Okay. Ooh, um, okay. Would you still jerk off? Ooh. If <laughs> Anytime you came, it uh-huh. was only one gigantic sperm. Oh shit. And you had to fight it. Like it just like <laughs> Mm-hmm. Put, was it painful? Come no, no, no. It's, it's f- pain free. Oh, but it's big. It, and, uh, I mean, it's, imagine like all of the the seminal fluid yeah, yeah. just morphs into a giant monster about just half the size of your body. Slumps out. Yeah, oh, and that, and then you have to physically have to fight, fight it. Fight it. Well, okay. Uh, it's got it, a tail. Is it a good cum? <laughs> like, is it like a the? It's like, I mean, it's like every other cum that you've had. It's a regular cum, but it's just fat as hell. Like yeah, a whole yeah. Body size or yeah. bigger. What, wait, what's the? Would you still jerk off? Would you still? Oh, if I still feel that feeling, yes. But this is what I would do. I, <laughs> I would go into a big open field, right? And like, I would put up a camera, and yeah. I would do like a, a website for it, yeah. And I'd have people pay to watch me come this ginormous monster <laughs> thing out of me. Yeah. I'm not gonna stop coming. Coming's awesome. Yeah. Like who? It would, ha, you, you would never before? be able to finish inside of anybody <laughs> because you just have like this they die. this chest burster come out of them and just, you you have to fight just like pieces and bone and sinew. You know what I would do is you know those like beautiful uh, have you ever been to England? Yes. Have you been to the Seven Sisters? Uh it's the giant white cliffs. It's Ooh, in uh like close to Brighton. You see it in movies all the time. It's those gigantic cliffs that overlook the ocean. Oh. I would go out there and just jerk off <laughs> right off the cliff. <laughs> you ever, I like it. This is like you're like summoning a creature. Yeah, well, just oh, that shit. way. But you have to fight it, though. You, I forgot I didn't answer that. Or really. is that right. your solution to the fight? That's they're my gonna solution drown. to the fight. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're falling. Off, yeah. it's, it's fucking like 10 I like it. Well, that's, I like it. That's sad, though. You're killing this thing. It's, it's sentient? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, it knows how to fight. It knows. It knows how to fight too. Yeah. Oh shit. I mean, instinctively, I'm we all sorry, do. Son, <laughs> <as I laughs> yeah. Stab it. Always masturbating yeah. with a knife in your other hand. Well, I mean, you know, you you if you especially one of those people that do it daily, like you know, you're like God. You got to feel sadness. What yourself. if you let it win one time, though? What well, happens? You're dead. Then, then you're never that's, coming again. That's it. Period. Okay. That's uh, the last. Come. Okay. Would you still have your period if every time you perioded, <laughs> you had to fight it? Definitely not. Take me out <laughs> right that, now. Isn't that just normal pregnancy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's here's my yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I, I have one. I have one. Okay. Oh, good. Throw okay. It back so ahead. if uh, let's say you're having sex with someone, right? And yes, I would. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. You're having <laughs> sex with somebody, and you you're just about to finish. And you're one of those people that if you don't do it, you're just a a dick. You know it. So you're just right. un- unreasonably angry, and they die on you. Do you finish? Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. You, you know, we we had one similar to this. Yeah. And I think my answer is: if I know they're dead, there's no way I'm staying hard. Um, really? Yeah. Like I would just shrivel up inside. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had I had a friend uh, when oh. I propo- I posed this question, and he's like, "Ooh, no, I would just you know go to the bathroom and finish." I'm like, "That's still <laughs> fucked up." <laughs> I'm not a dude, but that would have been my answer. <laughs> well, the um. one that we have that's similar to that is, uh, so imagine the um, oh, it, it's would you rather have sex with the most physically repellent? person that you can think of. Ooh. I mean, smells bad. Uh, everything that you think of is gross. So Thursday. Is, yeah, that's, yeah. you either have sex with that person mm-hmm. or mm. the hottest person you've ever seen, but they just died. Um, like you have sex with them, they're the hottest person, but they're dead? Yeah. Mm. Is it cold? I mean, no, no, they just, like you walked in the room, pants down, you're ready to go, and they're like, ah! Is, it, is there any like you know? Will I get in trouble? I mean, no. <laughs> is there a moral? The laws like, are at play. Here. I mean, the question's been posed. Let's <laughs> fill in the dots here, huh? Let's find yeah. Out. If I said Todd made me pick between them, and, and that was my choice, and then the police are knocking on my door. Yeah. Why did you force this yeah. person to have sex with a dead body? Yeah. But but then the police come, news come, and they're all like, you know, good job, you did it. And it's so big, everyone's fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I mean, it's if everyone's cool with it. I'm, Oh, okay. <laughs> Taylor, would you uh Oh man. Um I guess I guess I'm going dead body as well. Yeah, you want a stiff one. Um yeah. Well That's women terrible. often do That's want a idea. stiff one. Uh and then on a on a Thank note you. very much related to that one. Yeah. It's again, think of that most physically repellent person okay. that you can think of. Ooh, I got mm-hmm. it. All right, you got it? You yeah. got yeah. that that it. visual in your head? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh you can either have sex with that person mm-hmm. one time mm-hmm. and no one will ever know. Okay. Or okay. don't have sex with that person and everybody you know Ooh. will believe that you did and nothing you can say or do would convince them that you did. Oh, sh- oh, God. Option two, please. You would not have sex with them and let everyone think yes, that you did? Yes, 100%. I have strong dignity and confidence. I don't oh. care. Say I mean, what you I'm- want. I've uh, slugged a few yeah, slugs same. in my yeah. time, yeah. you know, maybe I, maybe if I'm really drunk, maybe I'm really hammered. No, you got to do it sober. You got to do it sober? Yeah. You're mean. That's mean. Yeah. Uh, damn. You just, you know what, though? You know, let people think. That's what I'm no, saying. I'm, I'm okay. taking one for the team. Yeah? Wow. I got to go back and listen to the, the last Would You Rather podcast to see if my <laughs> answer's changed. <laughs> yeah. How much have you but grown I, in yeah. the last year? <laughs> you know, I've been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, I would take one for the team and then just, I mean, I've done that before, you know, I've no. done that. Do you have to make Someone, eye contact too? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So speaking of, well, this will be the last one. You've already answered this one. Oh, thank God. I'm okay. going to sit back. Uh, but this is the one, yes. this is my favorite yes. of them. Would you rather mm-hmm. give your mom an orgasm or give your dad an orgasm? Oh, um, give my mom, oh my God. You just answered. I heard it. Uh, I heard the answer. God. Well, you know, I barely like talk to my dad. So maybe if I like turn to the left. And you have to do eye contact. Oh. You cannot. Todd with all his rules. Yeah. Well, that was Ali like, last time. Mm. Ali was like, I would just turn my head and just like angrily do it. And yeah, I was like, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. You got to like look at them. I guess, shit. I guess I jerk him off and I'd be like, it's just like a mirror. It's like I'm doing myself, <laughs> right? Yeah, dad. Yeah, me. Yeah, us. And then do you want him to encourage <laughs> you? Like, that's good. That's good, Andrew. Well, he's never before. So, <laughs> so you're doing great, son. Thanks, Dad. 
<laughs> Are those tears on your eyes? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we need we need to wrap it up because we got to get oh, ready man. for the just show. like Dad should have. <laughs> so. Uh, we need to talk about what we learned tonight. <gasps> oh. So, yes. Taylor. Yes. What did you learn tonight? Oh, I learned to tell my parents never to listen to this podcast, <laughs> for sure. Oh. Yeah, I was really excited to be on my first podcast yeah. ever. I love podcasts. Yep. And I'm going to tell no one about <laughs> this. So It's okay. We'll post a clip online. Yeah, perfect. Uh, <laughs> Andrew, what did you learn tonight? I, I learned that... Uh, Orlando's traffic changes. Uh, Did you go to Lockheed Martin? No, I just oh. went straight down, you know, the highway, and you know what? Just it. It could be a day, could be thirty minutes, or it could be uh, yeah. an hour and thirty minutes. It's really stupid. Did you? Yeah, and also, um, you know, do your parents? <laughs> yeah, and I, I learned something tonight too. I learned that um, if given the option to have sex with your mom in your girlfriend's body or your girlfriend in your mom's body. A threesome is really the safest bet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. We're Mama's Comedy Show. We are here every Friday night at 8 p.m. Call 407-363-1985 to make a reservation. Andrew, where can people find you? Uh, they can find me on uh, YouTube. They can find me on RAI Improv Comedy. They can find me doing improv and stuff like that there. They can find me on Twitch. Or uh, What's your Twitch? My Twitch is Omnigun. O-M-N-I-G-N-N. -N. I'm on the phone. Like, 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 Taylor, where can people find you? Nowhere. I have a private Instagram account because I work for a crime museum and that scares me my public accounts. I work I'm for a what? A crime museum. We can talk about it in another episode. Um, I did make an Instagram called Taylor is Funny, but there's no content and no followers. You but maybe you haven't done I haven't yet. said anything with it, but I took the, the hashtag or the handle so you can follow me there. Um, and that's it. Don't. I'm a part of an improv group called the Corner Gallery. Check us out at Oviedo. Uh, and you can find me on Xbox Live, Duty Poo Poo. I'm playing Diablo <laughs> 4 right now. I just got up to level 41. Nice. Very good. Um, I, I, I've listened to you and I'm just going through the story now. Like, I was just doing side quests yeah. before, just leveling up. And now I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Totters if you want to see pictures of my dogs. Uh, also, buy my books on Amazon. Um, just look for my name. We're doing well. Um, always do some help. Support, support local. Uh, all right, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.